News at this hour, both lanes of Interstate 40 westbound are shut down in Davie County as crews work to pull a loaded tractor trailer out of the woods. Samina Angle is live near the scene. They have been working there for hours. Samina, any idea when this is going to be cleaned up? Well, it might be soon, Nicole. Crews are still working to pull this tractor trailer out of the woods off of I-40 West near the Bermuda Run exit, and they've been making some progress in the past half hour or so. You can see over my shoulder the back half of that truck now coming out of the woods. Now, to accomplish all of this, troopers and DOT have shut down both lanes of I-40 West near the exit. Traffic is backed up as far as I can see. Traffic completely at a standstill. Now, this all happened around noon. Troopers say the driver of the truck told them that he suffered a coughing spell and lost control of the truck, though troopers haven't been able to confirm that. The truck then went through the guardrail and into the woods where it's been sitting for more than four hours. Now, efforts to pull that truck out are hindered by the weight of the tractor trailer. It's fully loaded with electronics. Troopers say the driver, 60-year-old Robert Rowley Jr., was on his way to Georgia when the crash happened, and he's since been cited for failure to maintain a lane. Now, Rowley was taken to the hospital for a cut on his hand. As for the truck, troopers tell me that they are still trying to pull that truck out of the woods again. You can see them making some progress there. The back half of that truck, they are out of the trees. But troopers have also set kind of a deadline for themselves, telling me that if they don't get this truck out fairly soon, they're going to open up the freeway anyway so that drivers can get going. And maybe they'll come back tomorrow and try to get that truck out of the woods from the other direction. Reporting live in Davie County, I'm Samina Angle. WXII 12 News.